Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives, and today we're gonna to be talking about the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Now, I've been using this for the past about two weeks, and I've noticed little things that I found that I would immediately change to get better results. So let's dive right into it. When you first get your DJI Osmo's Pocket 3, the first thing that I would suggest doing is going down here, turning it to 4K, and selecting your frame rate. I like 24. The next thing I will do is I'll come over here, so you swipe down, go into the settings on the bottom left. Now we are going to go down to rotate to screen the power off, and I'm going to turn that to never. Now this is originally set for the two seconds, so when you flip it like this, it usually will say two seconds to turn off or continue, and you have to do that. So if you're going back and forth, it's nice not to have to battle that. The next thing I'll do is if you go down here to the reference line, and I'll go ahead and turn this on. What this does is creates a grid for your visuals. And I like having that, it allows you to do uh, better compositions, or at least for me, it allows me to do my compositions the way I like. And the other thing that I'll do is this sounds right here. Now I'll turn this to low. I think that even in a crowded area, it allows me to hear it, but it's not super loud. So the next thing we'll do is we'll come over here, swipe from the right screen across, and I do shoot in pro mode so that you can control that exposure. If you go down to color, uh, if you are wanting to do some color grading, you're gonna hit D log M. From their website, you can download road a Rec 709 correction, and then use that in your color grading process. So go ahead and hit that. And then this bottom for this image adjustment, I'll go ahead and hit custom and reduce the noise by one and sharpness by two. Now I've done this through just playing around with the camera here and there and then talking to other people. It seems like out of the box, it almost looks too sharp and not really realistic. So this helps uh, bring that back down. So the other thing you'll want to do is with your microphone, I'll go ahead and increase the gain. I found both in the DJI Mic 2 and the DJI the first gen that you have to increase it a little bit. This is something they were just gonna have to play with and figure out what levels you like. And again, that may depend on what conditions are around you. you go back into settings, it's the bottom left one, wireless mic, and you'll see here it is connected. It's interesting that they give you a second one. So maybe with the release of them, you can add two at the same time. So we are gonna go down here to 32-bit float recording and turn that on. Now, the reason that I do that, it allows you to capture more so you get less of those pops or lows when um, you can hear the sound like go out of level. This is the same thing in like photography when you can catch more of the, of the highlights and the darks. And this is just doing that for sound. Scroll down a little bit, built-in mic audio backup. I'll go ahead and turn that on. And it's always good to have a duplicate copy. You never know what will happen. Maybe the mic gets damaged or something like that. That way you have a backup copy for that original audio. So these are the settings that I would change immediately once I got my DJI Osmo Pocket 3. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those below. But before we do that, these are the filters by Polar Pro. They're neutral density filters along with a polarizer on them. You can get them, they're gonna come in a box like this. So 83264, and again, neutral density polarizers. Polar Pro from their Vivid collection. And inside that box, you will find one lens wipe. And of course, this. It is plastic, kind of thin. Kind of wish they would do a little bit nicer box. The reason that I picked these up was the other day I was out filming. It was towards sunset. We're about an hour away. And even with automatic and shooting at a very high shutter rate, it was still having blown out parts. So with the neutral density, this should bring those levels back down where I can shoot in the promo at the setting that I'd like to for the frame rate. Besides the neutral density, I looked at the circular polarizer and I say that because I almost live with mine on my lens because I shoot a lot of vehicles. Now, what does this mean? So if you ever looked at a vehicle and you get that reflection off of it from like a mirror effect on the paint, or even the windshield, how you can't see it, you get that glare. And then you see the photos of it where you can see right through. That's what a circular polarizer is for. You align it so that you get the right angle with the sun or your lighting, and it cuts right through that. Same thing for if you're shooting in the water. If you ever see those photos where instead of the glare on the water, you can see straight through it, a circular polarizer usually is what they're using. Definitely excited about using that. And I will be getting updates on these as I get more use with them. So keep an eye out for that. We're gonna open this up. And on the back, it says capture perfection, but look at those. Let's take one of these out for a closer look. Got the logo right there. 
and if you see right there that little white line so when you're turning it you can tell you how much and on the bottom it tells you which one it is so let's take this snap it right on there and let's flip it and use this monitor as a reference so you can see the how it's dark and if you twist the polarizer it changes how the light is seen depending on what angle you're at. So again, like if you're using it on a vehicle, you can use it to cut through that glare. Now, I'm gonna be doing a review of this later once I get some more time on it, and hopefully this will turn out as a good investment. So if you have any questions on this, you want me to do any tests with them, leave those in a comment below, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.